Well, hey there, guys. Uh, let's see if I can get my product placement in here. Churchill, uh, hang on. You can't, you can't really, I can't really, it's not, not that, ne never mind, okay. Uh, I'm having a uh, coffee, all right, and um, it's been, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> it's been a hell of a week uh, this week, and due to the fact that it's been a hell of a week, uh, this week we'll have no Chinese espresso episodes. So for all the haters out there, you can celebrate and, uh, I don't know, do whatever it is you like to do. Um, they will be resuming from next week, Monday. Both Seamilk and I will be uh, resuming next week, basically. I'll explain to you why. You know, I think... What the hell's that noise? I think it happens fairly often when you're watching a YouTube channel and someone comes along and says... <laughs> What is making that noise? It's really irritating. So I just got, let me just mute my computer. I decided I'm going to do this all in one take, right? So that uh, mm, yeah, it's just going to be off the cuff, one take as usual. Uh, you could probably tell that I'm I'm slightly hungover today and I'm not in the the best of states, but you know I can get this video out and you'll should be able to understand me. Okay, so. Like I was saying, you probably get this. I, I notice it all the time. You watch a YouTube channel and, um, you know, the person will say, ah, oh, you know, life's been busy, lots of things have cropped up, etc., etc. So, you know, I haven't been able to put out whatever episodes. And, uh, well, yeah, I fully understand that. But at the same time, I think it's... Uh, a lame excuse to just say, ah, oh, you know, life's been getting in the way, etc. So I'm just going to tell you exactly why the Chinese espresso episodes aren't coming this week. <clears throat> and uh, it's for a pretty exciting reason. So I've been interviewed by China Radio International. And uh, I know it sounds strange that China in Radio International does uh, TV documentaries. It doesn't sound like they should do that. But basically, they are doing a big documentary on South Africans living in China. So this has got something to do with the whole um, trade agreements between China and South Africa. You know, it's a, it's a big thing. And um, so they're trying to show, I guess it's probably got something to do with improving ties between the, the two countries and, and that sort of thing. But whatever the case, they've been sort of uh, contacting or looking up more or less well-known or successful South Africans that have been living in China. And um, one of the guys that they contacted was my, my friend from back in the old days, his name's Byron, who is this uh, martial arts expert, you know, wushu expert. It's something he dedicated his life to, so he was basically, you know, since I, I knew the guy, that was his main focus in life, was just doing... Uh, wushu and uh, you know he's really good at it and um, yeah anyway so they were filming him with his wushu stuff and they asked him obviously if he knew of any any uh, South Africans and uh, so he mentioned me and actually some of the film, film crew members recognized my name my, my Serpent ZA name because they'd seen my videos before so they were like oh hell yeah let's let's go and uh, go and do a documentary about him so um, it was quite interesting. They came down and uh, they filmed me for three days. They went and uh, filmed me at work when I was training the doctors. Then they, uh, well, something interesting. I thought, well, since the film crew's here, let's try some, do something different. And I put out a, uh, an invitation for my subscribers to come and join me for a meetup which I do every once in a while, usually one-on-one, -on -one, but I've tried it once before where I just put a general, you know, invitation for any subscribers to come and meet me out there. And um, I put it out the day before, just one day ahead to say, sorry for the short notice, but, uh, you know, come and join me if you've got the time. Uh, you've probably seen the, the video I put on YouTube about it. And uh, I had a really, really awesome turnout, you know. And it was awesome because the film crew was there. And I uh, had so many cool and diverse uh, range of subscribers pitch up. Uh, for instance, had a Chinese uh, engineer guy who uh, basically finished work, and he lived in a he lives in a completely different city. 
finished work, took a shower, got the high speed rail all the way down to Shenzhen just to come to the meetup, which is, you know, awesome. Had uh, a schoolgirl, a high school girl come pitch up out of nowhere, say, hi, I'm one of your biggest fans, uh, which is awesome. Um, we had uh, a couple of other China vloggers, you know, come here. We had, um, you know, a Mexican vlogger called Green Girl who does her, um, I don't know, videos about eating fruit and vegetables, something like that. And uh, you know, we had uh, snark, snarky, stay frosty guy came to, to the, the meet as well. And, uh, you know, a guy from Hong Kong, an old subscriber of mine who brought his kids along. Really nice guy. Bought me a bottle of uh, California Merlot, <laughs> somewhere around here. Um, and, yeah, we had just like, well, like I said, a couple of other people, a guy from Poland, uh, uh, one of my subscribers from America, and uh, uh, a girl from England, and etc., etc. So we had a huge, diverse crowd pitch up, a guy from Australia as well. So basically this huge international group of people, uh, Chinese and people from all over the world, came, which was, you know, like really uh, awesome. I was really uh, blown away by, on such short notice, so many subscribers pitching up. And we went out afterwards and we went to this crazy seafood street, you know, the one in my Shenzhen What To Do. We went to this absolutely crazy restaurant and it was, it was a blast. So you'll probably see a lot of that in the documentary, I hope so. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. And then, of course, on the on the third day, they came up with me to um, uh, actually, yeah, sorry. On the second day, we went to Dongmen, got chased away by the police because we didn't have a permit to film and a huge crowd was forming, uh, you know, and uh, then we went to Lotus Hill, walked up to the top, it was bloody hot, all sweating, sweating our asses off. And we went to another park and uh, it was really difficult to film because of all those bystanders that kept you know, walking up and basically almost touching the cameras and standing in front and wanting to take photos with me while they're filming. Um, so that was really annoying. But we, we did all of that and then we went for dinner. And of course, on the third day, we went up to Churchill Customs and uh, they got to hang around the shop and it was, uh, it was quite a lot of fun. Mm. If you want to see that, by the way, Marty the Dumpling Schmidt has uploaded the latest episode on the Churchill Customs channel, I'll put an annotation somewhere here, you can just go look at, look at it, um, you know, of the film crew at the shop. So that's up already. I will be putting out a video which has more uh, of an in-depth sort of, because uh, I also filmed the film crew filming me, uh, so I'll put that up at some point as well, um, which could be quite interesting to look at as well. And, uh, the, you know, the thing is they're really nice people and it was really an absolute pleasure but like I said quite tiring because they you know I had to take them from morning to night sort of take them around and they followed me everywhere and we had to do a lot of filming and stuff so anyway it's going to be interesting because it's going to be basically it's uh, just a short documentary but it's they they have I think 12 different people that they are filming here in China and each person gets their own episode so I'm going to have my own dedicated episode and it will be released in the middle of next month sometime. As soon as it's released, I will, of course, uh, send you guys the link because it will be hosted online as, <clears throat> as well as broadcast on TV. For any of you in South Africa, it will be broadcast on ETV at some point in the future as well, which is quite cool. And um, I spoke to them and it looks like they are willing to let me host that uh, little documentary on my YouTube channel so I can actually put the actual thing up later uh, after a certain period of time so it's exciting it's exciting for me I can't wait to see it um, and uh, it really it's it's difficult to explain how I feel about the whole thing it just makes me feel very how could I say very grateful really especially to my subscribers who came to the meetup. I really appreciate it, guys. You uh, really are such a fantastic bunch of people. And uh, it's really like we have some sort of a, a family thing going on here. So I've decided I'm going to have more of these subscriber meetups more often. And, uh, you know, like last time it was great. We all went out for a beer afterwards, a big meal, and uh, had a great time. And, uh, you know, it's it quite a fantastic uh, evening. So looking forward to doing it more often in the future. 
so that's more or less what I've been up to uh, for this last, well, it was for three days, but I had to do some prep before and afterwards, obviously. And I've just come back from the shop where we've been working. We had the film crew on Monday, Tuesday, we had a, a hell of a day uh, working in the shop. So it's it's been busy. So, you know, the Chinese espresso thing takes time. It doesn't take too much time, but it takes time. And I don't have that time right now because I've basically got to finish off my coffee and then I'm heading out to work. And uh, I got all sorts of nonsense to deal with this evening. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are interested in, in my new girlfriend, um, she will be in the documentary so I will use that as a reveal so uh, if you, any of you guys are interested in seeing what she really looks like you can for those of you who haven't figured it out yet anyway you can <laughs> wait and see in the documentary that's it guys so I have been struggling this whole morning as well to try and finish the next episode of the conquering southern China adventure and it's frustrating because I've already filmed us narrating and talking about it, but I did it before I got my new camera, so it's in really low resolution, bad lighting, looks crap, the sound is like terrible. So I'm thinking about maybe even re-filming re that part. But either way, my goal is to get the Conquering Southern China part four and five, actually, because it's together four and five, to, to get it out, uh, if I can, this week. That's That's my goal, really. So... Yeah, it might be a little lower on quality if I use the original footage, which I probably should. But I would like you guys to know that I'm dedicated to getting it out there. I have a whole bunch of other stuff I have to deal with. My, my girlfriend's birthday is this week. And, um, you know, there's just a whole host of other nonsense that I need to do. But for those of you who are interested in the subscriber meetup that I had, I have put pictures up on my Facebook page. So please feel free to go and take a look, you know. Here. Here they are. Um... Let's see. Yeah, you can you can basically just go go take a look through them, and uh, yeah, if you are interested at all, they are there. Cool. Um, and yeah, please feel free to like I say, add me on on WeChat or whatever it is you'd like. Uh, sorry, not WeChat on Facebook, and uh, come and join the join the little China family that we got going on over here of of expats and of course everybody's welcome if you're Chinese you're welcome as well um, yeah and that's it guys I'm once again mumbling and just going on and on but yeah some good things up ahead there's talk of maybe a proper documentary of our uh, bike you know adventures in the future so that's a really nice thing as well anyway uh, thank you very much for watching guys thank you for your support as always and um, Look forward to some, some new and interesting videos in the near future. Next week, we'll resume with a regular schedule of Chinese espresso, and um, I'll be putting in another uh, China How It Is, talking about finding a job. So, yeah, I'll get back to my regular stuff. I just kind of need to decompress this week and, yeah, try and get that Conquering Southern China Part 4 and 5 done. All right, guys, so that's that's it. I'll see you in the next video. And of course, until next time, stay awesome.